You're listening to Linux News Log, separating the Linux and open source signal from the noise. Hey everybody, how's it going? I am your host Adrian, coming to you almost live from lovely Petaluma, California, here in studio MC2 at QuickSurf Internet Studios. Linux News Log is a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's here. Do feel free to head on over to techpodcast.com and check out all the other technology-related shows over there as well. I'd like to encourage everybody to visit us online over at quicksurf.com and also uh, shoot me an email, linux at quicksurf.com. You you can subscribe to the show if you're watching on YouTube or if you want to uh, listen to uh, the show via MP3 or Og Vorbis or even watch the video as a, as a separate downloadable video. You can find all the links to do that uh, over at the website at quicksurf.com. And... Uh, <clears throat> Before I get into the news for this episode, as you probably can hear, I'm fighting off a pretty severe cold. Um, I'd like to uh, make a, a quick announcement. Uh, we have a, a short show this this week simply because it's the holidays here in the U.S. And, uh, you know, there's not a lot of news going on uh, during the, the last couple of weeks of the year anyway. But um, I just wanted to let everybody know that I will be uh, at the the Blog World and New Media Expo uh, in Las Vegas, January 6th and 7th. Um, the expo runs the 6th through the 8th, but I can't uh, do the full three days. So I'll be there Sunday and part of Monday, good chunk of Monday. And then um, from there, I uh, will be probably launching uh, a, a new technology show Um Linux news log is staying around, but but the the new show is kind of a relaunch of a show that I previously had done before. It's called the Geekinator, and um, you can find all the details uh, when I relaunch that over at quickstuff.com. And I'll give it another blurb here over at Linux news log uh, once that's done. But for the next uh, two or three weeks, um, I will be. Uh, uh, the, the show will be kind of interesting because um, I'm, you know, kind of, you know, Monday night I'm going to be in Las Vegas and I want to do the show then. I mean, it is Blog World and Podcasting Expo. So uh, Monday night, um, I'm, and you see part of this now, I'm testing out my mobile uh, podcast, if you will, my mobile show rig. Um, and uh, I'll be, you know, basically doing a show Monday night. Uh, for Linux News Log, possibly uh, uh, Tuesday night I'll be doing the show uh, for the Geekinator. I'm gonna. It looks like I'm gonna do uh, Linux News Log Monday night, the Geekinator Tuesday night. The Geekinator is basically a general technology show for geeks. Um, since I'm a geek, and I, you know, it's been something I've been wanting to do for a while, and I'm finally at a place where I've I can, you know, I've got the workflow down, and I can probably I can get it done. So it'll be interesting to see that. And then, uh, so this week, um, we're a day late. Uh, it's December 25th right now. So we're, we're releasing a day later than we normally release, which is okay. You know, we, we can live with that. Um, tomorrow night, or actually tonight still, I may do the Geekinator, but it depends on uh, how much time I have. But uh, for sure, next week, since it'll be uh, Monday night, will be January thirty first. Um, I'll be doing a show then. We'll see. That'll be interesting. Uh, and then Tuesday, January first, I'll be launching the Geekinator. It'll be perfect timing. Um, and then the following week uh, will be Linux News Log from my hotel room uh, over at uh, Blog World and New Media Expo in Las Vegas. If any of you in the audience are going, I will be out on the expo. F- expo floor doing interviews meeting and greeting shaking hands you know all that good stuff so by all means you know if you see me i'll look pretty much like i look now if you see me uh you know don't be afraid to stop by and say hi and shake my hand and you know ask me how i do the show and all that other good stuff so let's go ahead and get into the stories for this episode we've only got uh, four different stories. One of them, the first one here over at Linux Planet, I thought I'd include because it's kind of a nice rundown. It's called the Linux Kernel in 2012. 2012 was actually pretty big uh, for Linux, believe it or not. 
uh, at least the Linux kernel. There was a lot of uh, change, at least in the versioning. Um, you know, it started off Linux 3.2 was the first kernel of 2012, and then 3.4 was released. Uh, that was released in January, and then 3.4 was released in May, and then 3.5 was released in July. 3.6 was released at the end of September, and 3.7 debuted earlier this month. So I find it interesting that, you know, for the longest time, the Linux kernel was really quite static and it was, you know, point releases. And they finally, you know, Linus finally just said, you know what, you know, it, it, it's starting to look more like agile type things. Now, it would be great if they, you know, got it down to where they did a new release every quarter and then like at the end of every quarter, right, or roughly, you know, the month at the end of the quarter. And kind of got it to where they had, you know, a sprint where every six sprints they did a release or something and the sprints were two weeks long or, you know, something of that nature. That would be uh, pretty, ni pretty nice to see. But still, nonetheless, gives a nice rundown of what happened with the kernel uh, in 2012. Lots of stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, check it out. Uh, the next story we have is from PC World. I thought this was pretty neat. Uh, turn your Raspberry Pi into a tiny Linux laptop. So the $35 Raspberry Pi started shipping earlier this year. I actually have uh, an upcoming project uh, um, on the Raspberry Pi that I'm, I'm looking to potentially uh, get some Kickstarter funding for. Um, I'll, I'll have more information later as it's a little more congealed, but I'm looking to do a, a, a prototype and uh, it'd be interesting um, just to see you know what, what I can uh, churn out with it. But um, if, if all goes well, it's in the storage arena. You know, I'm unfortunately, I use way more storage than the average person. So this is probably not that interesting to most people. But I've kind of hit a point where I'm, I'm experiencing some pain and there's no real good commercial solution for me. And I can't be the only one experiencing the type of, you know, storage related, you know, issues that I'm having. And so... You know, my hope is there's enough other geeks out there that think that, you know, the solution, my solution for the, my particular problem is, uh, you know, a solution for the problems that they experience too. So it'll be interesting to see uh, what kind of uh, Kickstarter funding I can get. But nonetheless, th this is a nice little rundown on how to turn your Raspberry Pi into a tiny Linux laptop. It's pretty cool. Check it out. Uh, over at joystick.com, uh, Linux Steam has indeed entered open beta. Go give it a go. Uh, I've already been getting feedback from uh, some of the uh, people in the audience that they've uh, sucked it down and uh, have, have tried it out. It's not been without issues, <clears throat> but uh, still pretty cool. Um, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what comes of it and we'll be monitoring this as it moves forward because obviously gaming is, you know, a huge market and getting Linux gaming support is, you know, something that's, that, that has a lot of potential. So it's pretty neat. This last story that we have is from myce.com. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> been getting over this cold for like a week it sucks anyway uh the last story that we have here is uh from my ce m y c e dot com the reason why i even noticed the story is bec mainly because of my job uh at work where i currently work um the new file system optimized for flash memory in upcoming uh, Linux kernel the 3.8 release of the Linux kernel will support a new Samsung developed file system File system is called a flash friendly file system, F2FS. We actually, uh, at my job, um, a lot of the development I do is in the embedded Linux environment, and we actually uh, use the flash friendly file system. And it's right now, it's custom compiled into the kernel that we have. And uh, it'll be nice to get a kernel where it's just kind of built in already. So, um, I'm looking forward to uh, pointing this out to some of the guys at work and saying, "Hey, uh, maybe we should be upgrading. <laughs> maybe we should be upgrading our kernel." <laughs> anyway, um, pretty interesting. I, it's interesting to me simply because this, you know, Im, you know, is an impact to what I do every day, all day long. But uh, pretty cool nonetheless. That will do it for this edition of Linux News Log. As always, 
Everything we've talked about is linked up in the show notes. You can find those online. Linux at quicksurf.com is my email address. You can find the website over at quicksurf.com. And I will see all of you next week on the 31st. And then the following week after that will be from Vegas. Um, I'm looking to do a lot of interviews and that sort of thing for the for the Geekinator. If I see anything Linux related, that will definitely be showing up here on this show. And uh, with that, I will see all of you then. Bye.